I think you have to have respect for the next generation to leave something what will have not just the glamour and the magic of film, but also the quality. The bottom line is when you work on picture, you have creative imagination and you're trying to bring everything to one. And of course, every one of us has different vision, has different principles in life, they see things differently. But then you have to have enough knowledge working with people to make them believe your vision is the one. And people understand this is something what they want to be part of. I will tell you something, you only find confidence through your people. When you, when you surround yourself with people who give you confidence, you have confidence. When you have people who don't give you confidence, doesn't matter, you can be brilliant, you can be very good. You just don't feel you are right. And I think the most important part in any business is have people who are better than you, so you can learn from them. I made a documentary about Paula Negri because she came from Europe, like me, like Billy Wilder, Roman Polanski, Ernst Lubitsch, and lots of different people came from Europe with background and education. And they made this business in Hollywood wonderful. And I was uh, doing the uh, the time to preparing documentary, I learned so much about Hollywood. Then and now, which gave me perspective and also gave me the choice to choose what kind of director I want to be. Esther's Diary was a very important movie for me because I didn't want to make next Schindler list or very terrifying movie. Which that was my, uh, not my reason, because actually when you see people, and this is perspective of person who live in America, and I don't think American people related that way to the people who die in Auschwitz or something. So I thought to bring this problem just the way we will respond today to the problem. Marush had such a passion for the story himself and we could feel that passion. It was internal from him, and it just, you know, it was like osmosis. Ah, it was great working with Maroos. Um, he's very welcoming of um, your ideas and your instincts, but at the same time, you know, he knows what direction he wants to take it, and he's very clear about giving the direction, so I found it a very comfortable atmosphere to work in, so it was a great experience. In my film Deeper and Deeper, the scene which Ryan takes uh, uh, Angelica to a coffee shop and he's telling her about his love to her and she's telling him about herself and she's very cold but at the one moment she starts to cry. And that's the moment which, you know, in perspective, I would like to have moments like that, more moments like that in my movies. When we have character who is very strong or character who is weak, and in some moment, for some reason, is changing. But the character even doesn't know why it's changing. But we as the audience see, you know, you can change things. So I think in the future I will do more challenging role for actors who can go one direction but they I want them to twist and show something else unexpected only to go back to previous direction. I think this is a wonderful experience for actors and for me and for audience also. Um, I believe he's a visionary. He doesn't just look at the everyday picture when he's doing a shot. He's looking at what is that shot going to lead to next, that's going to lead to next. Um, and, and it's very encouraging to work with somebody like that because you're not just caught up in the moment, but you're also caught up in what's this moment going to add to later.
And you know, that's wonderful things about movie. You can show those things and you can actually relate. And doesn't matter where you are and what the reason you are here. You can relate to each other. Just you need to find the lever of relation and then move on.